Hello world, this is Random Fix, and I started my YouTube channel about four years ago, and when I started out, I went ahead and made lots of mistakes. So that's what this whole video is about, is how to optimize your actual YouTube channel. So if you guys are brand new to YouTube, this is definitely gonna help you get in the right path, or if you've been doing it for 10 years, and you just don't know how to break this algorithm down, that's what I'm gonna cover in this video today, because we're gonna use a special tool called TubeBuddy, and TubeBuddy has really changed my whole channel and my perspective. So I'm going to show you guys this in depth today, talk about some of my favorite features. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we are going to be talking about TubeBuddy. I am going to hop behind the computer, show you guys some of the cool features that I like, show you guys how to spot good vendors that can help you with your SRT files. If you're not sure what SRT files are, you definitely want to stay tuned. So I'm going to cover this in depth and how it's going to help you grow your channel. Hey everybody, let's check out the TubeBuddy website here and we're going to just basically do a quick little browsing. So over here it gives you some uh, overviews that you should pay attention to. As a YouTuber, are you going to use every one of these tools? And the answer is no. I'm more interested in coming down and showing you guys the pricing. So TubeBuddy is not cheap. And as I mentioned in the very beginning of the video, there's a coupon code to save you guys a little bit of money. Go ahead and use that. So they have three different levels. If you're going to go and pay for it, go and get the Legends. That's what you want. So this one right here at $39.20 is the best package that you can go ahead and utilize. However, you do not need to make a purchase to use some of the basic core features of TubeBuddy. And we're going to talk about that right here and so if you go to tubebuddy.com forward slash free this is going to be the free version and basically it gives you an overview so this is pretty extensive guys and honestly if you're just starting out this is better than nothing and again you do not have to go and study for hours about seo trying to get the right tag sometimes you don't even know what to put in your tag and that's my hardest task is when i'm putting a video together and I've shot the video and I just don't know how it relates to the SEO online. This is where TubeBuddy really shines. TubeBuddy, the way it works guys, is an extension. So I have TubeBuddy right here and I have the extension enabled and I also use vidIQ. I'm going to have a video down below about that as well. I'm going to go and turn off vidIQ for this demo, show you guys just TubeBuddy and then let's go ahead and pretend that we're going to upload a video. So here's a video that I have uploaded right here. And to upload a video, it's pretty easy. Obviously, you guys know how to do this already. If you guys are watching this video, you click on here. You choose your video. Let's just say this is our video right here. I'm going to go ahead and upload all this a name. And you can basically walk through here. One of the things that will happen is when you do have a TubeBuddy account, you're going to be able to come in here and basically run some extra SEO. I don't normally do it this way. I go ahead and just upload the video like normal. And once the video is uploaded, what I do is I come back to my creator studio, choose the video that I uploaded, hit edit. And now I'll go ahead and start playing around with this. So this particular tool is going to be a top down Phoenix Elite, Cantle, and if you guys start looking to the right over here, you'll start seeing some of the TubeBuddy helpful tips come up, including the one right up here. So we can go ahead and copy cards. We can copy in screen. Some of these things you can go ahead and do yourself. Obviously, to push it to Facebook, this is something that's pretty useful. We have the SEO engine. I don't use any of these functions right here guys when I'm actually doing a video what I do is I go ahead and give it my title once I give it my title I hit save I'll come down here and I'll put my very first tag in and I'll call this top don scan tool and right here this is how this TubeBuddy really works as soon as I do this it's going to start giving me all the recommended tags and these tags are very important and remember on YouTube you can have up to 500 characters in tags. And so if you have 
a competitor that has a very similar video, you'd want to put their title in your tags as it's just going to get optimized for that audience and it's more likely to bring you that audience. So you can go through here and choose relevant tags. And this is going to be literally 50% of the work and the other 30% is going to be your title and also what you're going to put into the content box right here in the description. So TubeBuddy does not help you out much as far as the title and also the description. And let's go back down to these tags. So the tags are going to be very simple. You choose what you want. I actually like using this feature instead, which is going to be the search traffic. And sometimes you got to wait for it to load and you may get an error like this if the video that you're making has a very niche market, but that's okay. It still works. And just wait a second. It'll pull up the best results and you basically choose the tags that you want in here. So if I was going to go through and, and make this a little faster on your keyboard, if you guys hit control F or Apple F, I know this is a scan tool called the Top Down Phoenix Elite. I'm going to go ahead and drop this in here. And this Elite is mentioned several times. Anytime where Elite is mentioned, I'm going to go drop that as a tag. This is really going to help this video stand out and be found easier by viewers. So this is what TubeBuddy is able to do down here in the tag section. I'm going to go ahead and go up now. When I'm doing this, I'm really looking for speed and efficiency. And TubeBuddy has a thumbnail generator, which is pretty nice. Basically, it takes a single frame from your video. And you can go through and add text, add an image, shapes, emojis, frames. This is all great. I use Canva for this. I'll have a video about it in the future. Canva is just so much faster. And I think it costs about $100 a year. So... Mm -hmm. If you guys don't have Canva, this is a great tool to have. And on the right hand side, TubeBuddy has some defaults. So I don't use their defaults like this, but you can go ahead and put them in. They have some chapter options right here. And basically that's where you're gonna go break it up so people can find the section of the video that they're looking for. You can track likes on Facebook. It's got info cards and end screens. Obviously with end screens, I'm gonna give you guys a little tip only leave two options at the very end. If you make it three or four, people will get confused and they will select nothing. Because remember this, when somebody's watching your video, a confused mind does nothing. You can go ahead and read some of the tips that they give you. And one of the biggest things that I actually learned from using TubeBuddy was that I was making my title so long. So I realized that I had 100 characters on the titles. And I would try to maximize the 100 characters. However, you really want to put a total of 60 characters or less. And if you're able to do that, YouTube is going to be able to go and pick out what your video is really about. And with the help of the tags and also with the help of the description, it's going to be able to go and decipher if your video is right for that viewer. And as a helpful tip, the video description right here is very important. So what I like to do is grab some of my best tags and I'll go ahead and just pop them on the very bottom of the description for you right here. And if you guys need a little bit more help with the titles and the description, vidIQ is a little bit better in this section because it gives you an AI suggested title and it will tell you what to drop in here. So the algorithm can go look in your description. What I'm going to show you guys next with TubeBuddy is really where TubeBuddy shines. And I would actually go ahead and try this feature. And the nice thing is if you guys do want to optimize your channel, and let's just say you have 200 videos, you don't have to keep this for the whole year. Myself, I have over 800 videos. So when I got TubeBuddy, I literally would go one or two days a week just optimizing videos. And it's made such a big difference. If you guys are enjoying this content, go ahead and give the video a a thumbs up as it really lets YouTube know that I'm bringing you valuable content and it would really help me out. And I have a special discount code in the video link down below. If you guys are interested, it will save you some additional money and you can go ahead and at least just try out TubeBuddy. It costs nothing to install the add-on to your browser and it will help you just get to the next level that much faster. Thanks.
One of the nicest features of TubeBuddy is the option to go ahead and automatically translate your English SRT files into other languages. So I normally do Arabic, Chinese, Hindi, Portuguese, Spanish, Russian, French, and any other language you guys want to add in there, you can. It's really easy. You're going to come into the video section, go to subtitles, hit add language. And the very first thing you want to do is scroll down to right here where it says English. And I just choose United States. And then I'm going to come right here where it says United States add title and description. For English, I'm going to hit translate. And obviously this is just going to be a pure copy. So we're going to hit add subtitles. And we're going to choose a file that we had made. So towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys what these files are. They're basically called SRT files. So we want to do it with timing. Here's a SRT file, guys, that I had one of the vendors from Fiverr make for me. And my vendor charges me $35 for $30 for 105 minutes. So basically, this will go and take what I said in the video, which is line by line, down to the T and add it into the video. Now with that done, I can come in here and I can choose German, for example. And I can come in here and hit translate and everything's automatically translated. So if any of this text could have been translated, it would have translated it. My description is obviously translated. And now I can go ahead and hit this auto translate feature and it will go ahead and do this for me automatically. So that is a really great benefit of TubeBuddy that I personally like. I like the SEO. I like the tags. I like being able to put the tags back in the description. Obviously, you can use some of the tags in your title and just break them up a little bit differently. And TubeBuddy itself has a whole bunch of other features. As I said, I'm looking for efficiency and maximum amount of speed. And I'm going to tell you guys, I've actually gotten about a 7% improvement from the SRT files added into my videos. Because a lot of people that watch YouTube, whether they're hearing impaired, or they're watching it in bed, they don't listen to the audio. So SRT files and having closed captions translated in other languages is gonna be key. And YouTube will translate it for you in English. However, you're not able to go and do that in different languages. So that is pretty nice to have that option. And one other thing too about the automatic translations, this has a limit. So if you're doing it, you may notice that after doing about two, three videos per day, you're going to hit a roadblock and it'll basically give you a warning that you've done too many and that you need to wait 24 hours. So that is going to be my breakdown on the creator side. However, just know that when you are actually using TubeBuddy, they have a whole bunch of cool features. They have this dashboard here and this dashboard is pretty intense and they have a lot of great tools like this SEO studio and they have a video library as well. I watched it when I first got TubeBuddy and honestly, if you're starting out, this is going to cut your years of experience in half. So go ahead and check out all the different categories that they have here. And I would go through each one of these modules. They also have this new section here. They have milestones. So Currently, I'm looking to get to about 50,000 subscribers. That's 50,000 people that I helped directly. And let's go try out this keyword explorer. So I have a keyword here, sprinter van build with bathrooms. I'm gonna go ahead and hit explore. And even before I shoot my video, it lets me know that this is an excellent topic and it gives me some analytics here. If I was to choose a topic, I would probably wanna choose something in the green, not in the red as there's gonna be a lot of bigger YouTube influencers that I'm not gonna be able to compete with. And here's a tag, SEO Studio. And it lets me know that this is a decent tag. It might be a little bit crowded. And this is even more crowded. So I would probably wanna go with this between the two. So this is a really good tool to go and add some of your ideas so you don't forget about some of the things that you wanted to talk about and bring light to. So under the best time to publish, it lets me know when the busiest time for YouTube is and when is the best time for me to actually publish, which is going to be Sunday at 11 o'clock. 
And remember, this is always changing just depending on how many uploads and how much other competition you have on YouTube. We have website tools. And once you log into your account, one of my favorite parts is going to be this whole video series. Basically, you can watch this guy right here, show you guys a lot of the cool different ideas about making thumbnails, what needs to be on there, how to get more views. And again, if you are new to YouTube, guys, TubeBuddy will make your life really easy by a just studying it and then getting out there and just producing videos and trust me at first it's going to be a little intimidating and the more you do it the better you get at it and the more often you're going to go and produce great content so if you guys have a cool channel that i should check out please leave it in the description box down below as well as i would love to support you guys in your growth so these are going to be some of the videos and we can see they have a lot of content here so what I did is when I first started I probably went through the first 24 25 videos and I had a pretty good idea however this definitely beats trying to watch somebody else on YouTube that's going to talk about SEO and using Google keyword planner and going here and then looking it up on this site I did all that guys honestly it's way too much work TubeBuddy cuts that time in half and Especially if you're going to go and just try out the free version, go try it out. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So for the SRT files, you can go to Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. And this is the gentleman that I use for my SRT files. And with the fees, it comes out to $39.98. And this is going to be for 105 minutes. And he'll send you all your information in SRT files, just to upload them. And as a pro tip, you want to go ahead and do this on your top maybe 100 videos. You don't want to do it for every video. So the videos that are doing good, they'll continue to do better. You'll make more money, you'll get more views, and you'll help more people out. And I have some final takeaways from this video. And we're using the TubeBuddy video planner here. So We've learned that van life, even though it's one space apart from van space life, is much better. SRT files really help with SEO and exact tags are key and so are exact titles. So if you do need help with titles and descriptions, you want to check out my vidIQ video first. It'll be in the description box down below and also at the end of this video. The nice thing with TubeBuddy is this versus not having TubeBuddy is that you can actually learn as you go. So if you're going to go and miss that perfect tag by maybe a misspelling or a space, you're going to catch that right then and there. And I got to tell you guys, about 50% of your retention is going to be your title. So getting a perfect title with no extra spaces, with no weird characters, correct spelling is so crucial. When I got TubeBuddy and I was optimizing my old videos, I realized that I had made a lot of mistakes. And I guess that's part of becoming a creator that's doing everything from producing the video to editing it and also publishing it. So if you are one of those people that's doing all three of those jobs, definitely TubeBuddy is going to be an option for you. Check out the vidIQ video and decide for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on TubeBuddy and it helped you understand some of the different features of the platform, how to go ahead and convert your SRT files with ease now by finding a very reputable vendor and I'll have their contact information down below. Again, you'll find that coupon code and also at the end of this video, somewhere up here or down here, you'll find a video about TubeBuddy versus vidIQ. So if you guys haven't heard of vidIQ, Check that out before you make any decisions because I use both. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my honest opinion. So that way you guys can make a better decision for yourself. Thank you again. And if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As it really lets YouTube know again that I'm bringing you guys valuable content. A thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And you know that giving the video a thumbs up is definitely rewarding for yourself. And it feels good. Just do it. Hit it. Hit it. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one.